Okay. We're back with the LED insulation. This is part two of this. Just a little reminder what we've done on the front. Is we got the LEDs mounted into the front bumper. And the LEDs mounted into the back bumper. So that was the fog lights. And the uh, tail lights. As far as brake lights. Now I've done a little figuring out on this while I was off camera. So what we got so far is this is where I'm going to put my blinkers and my backup lights. So I need to do the same thing on this side. And then we'll get the wiring done. And what these are are little caps from uh, Axle. I believe they're well I'm not, I believe these came with the honcho or something like that. I'm not really sure what kit that was. But these little cups. And you got these other little parts here to go with it. These are the lenses and the stays for the lights. And then you put the little nut on the back. So these things all are threaded. And they'll go right in here and then you can tighten them up. And pretty much put them anywhere you want. So... That'll work good. Alright, so what we're going to do now is uh, I went ahead and attached the body back on in the front. And basically, what we'll do is you just kind of lean it up against yourself. And line up where you're going to want them. And then take your reamer you can actually go right through the the hole once you've lined it up get you a little starting point and then ring the holes up so let me get my starting points on here and I'll be right back all right well we got our starting points and uh, let's get down here where you can see now basically all we got to do is you put your reamer in there and you just Spin it around until your socket fits in there. And you just double check it once in a while. Keep them as uh, tight as possible. They don't get any rattling around and it won't force the uh, light bucket to loosen up. Man, of course, we drop it. You get you a good body reamer and just take your time and it won't scratch anything up or there you go. All right. Well that's where the buckets are gonna be. No sense of putting them in all the way. You're gonna have to take them right back out. That was just a little bit too tight. You don't want them snug, but you don't want them so tight you can't maneuver them. So. Alright. Well, the next thing to do would be to uh, get your LED lights, figure out which ones you're going to do with what. This 
this is the white, so this will be the <coughs> reverse lights. Well, that one's actually the headlights. There we go. I need a three millimeter. And as you see on these buckets, they got. See if you can see the smaller hole. So that a three millimeter just pops in there. And then when you put the lens on and everything, you won't be able to see anything. See? And then when it lights up, even the yellow ones when they light up, they will uh, they'll be able to uh, you know shine the because the bulb's yellow. All right, let me get a few of these in, and I'll be right back. All right. We got our lenses in. Everything tightened down on the inside. Let's see if I can get you a look here. Everything in here is black, so it's kind of hard to see. Everything tightened down. The wire's installed. The blinker wires. One goes to the front. One goes to the back. So these will run the front. I gotta get them light buckets in. This is the reverse lights. So it's coming along. The next thing we'll have to do is get the, uh, the light buckets and uh, put some paint on them real quick. What I was actually thinking of doing was installing them and then put paint on the outside of the light bucket. That way it would be shinier from the inside. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut these out and then install them, glue them to it. Then once it's all done and I got the holes and everything lined up for the LED lights, then I'll paint the silver on there and then I'll paint black over them again and that'll keep them nice and shiny on the inside all right well let me do that and I'll be right back okay what we've done we cut out the buckets and took the reamer did the holes just enough for them bulbs squeeze in pretty tight and then once it's all said and done and we got them painted, we'll, uh, we'll glue the back just to make sure they don't fall out. So what we'll do is we'll put some glue on the edge of this, glue them to there. I still got to put the holes in this one. So give me just a minute to get the holes in here and I'll be right back. Okay. And what I've done next was I took the stickers of the headlights and I cut out the centers so I had this beauty ring around there and we're hoping it all looks good I paint the inside and it ought to shine them up some so <clears throat> now what you have is that our lights would all pop right in now got to get that painted so as soon as they're painted our bulbs will fit in real good and I'll put a little glue behind that that'll give us our headlights So once this inside silver, this ought to blend in here real well. So, so let me go paint the inside of them, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. What we got now? So we got our light bucket silver. I still need to back them with black, but as you can see, the the front looks more like it's supposed to now. And uh, we'll let this dry up, and then I'll back them in black. And once we've done that, we'll go ahead and install the rest of the lights. 
So I'll be back in a few after these dry. Alright, see you in a minute. Okay. We're back. And with the magic of the camera, we got them all backed in black and everything and ready to go. They're all pretty dry. And there's the finish. A nice silver backing. Now what we do is this is a blinker. Blinker. And here's our headlights. So what we'll do is we'll we better put the headlights in first. I got one that's a real tight fit and I got another one that's just a little loose so what I'm going to do is put a little model glue glue the LED in And we'll put the blinkers in. There you go. Now we got the all the lights in. And what we gotta do is hook them up to the kit. Alright, and what I've done here is I've made another plate for my light kit to go on. And what we'll do is we'll stick this on here. I thought about putting it on the back, but we're going to put it on here for now. I'm thinking of designing another plate where these will actually go like this, or maybe I'll make a, a plate down here to, to cover up the bottom so they won't splash. But we'll mount this plate on here for now. So let me uh, find my tape here. And I tell you what, I think what I'll do with this one is I'll put some Velcro on it. That way I can take it back off a lot easier. If I need to remove the body or something, it might be easier to take all that off than to pull off the... Uh, the whole kit. Let's see. Alright. Put the Velcro on here. All right, and then we'll take some tie wraps and tie wrap this all up nice and neat. But for now, we're gonna 
plug these other wires in. Another little thing I've also did was I added a little heat to the tube, the antenna tube, and bend that so this will stay under the truck because I hate the, the look of the holes. So we'll get this body plugged up here. Let me go ahead and get these lights plugged up and I'll be right back. Okay. Here we are with the the kit all installed. Still gotta tighten the body on and everything. I got a lot of wires to tie up. But uh this is what it looks like. When it's sitting still, the headlights are on dim. They start to move, the headlights come on, and the fog lights come on. He got blinkers. And then the back, and you're moving forward, and then you hit the brake, the brake lights come on, then you go to back up, the reverse lights come on. Now these lights should be on all the time halfway. And I can't quite figure it out. So I still got to mess with these switches. There's little switches on here. And there might actually be something wrong with this kit. Um, you know, the little inexpensive kit. So there's not, you know, sometimes you just take a chance of not everything working. But, um, but the lights are on. I still got a lot of tie wrapping and stuff to do to get it all nice and clean. And uh, we'll get that done. And I'll give you a look at it when it all tie wrapped up and everything but for right now that's it everything's installed and so that's it for the led insulation and uh i hope you liked it and please subscribe and please like and comment and you have a nice day all right bye